what, what year was this? 97. So that was the same year she passed? She passed a few weeks after that, yeah. So, because she wrote a letter to, is it Paul Burroughs in 96? And yeah. says that they were going to kill her yeah. in a car accident. Yeah. Was there, she ever in fear of her life? Did you ever feel that? Yeah, vibe? she was. Yeah, I spoke to Paul Burrell actually in London the other day and he was telling me about that same letter. And he's got you know, his own things. I, I don't really read the news or I don't follow media or anything like that. So, you know, I don't follow the Princess Diana stuff. But, um, yeah, her friend Gianni Versace was killed and everybody thought it was a, a planned hit. That You know, it, looking at what happened in the security industry, that's what everybody thought had happened. It was a classic uh, hit, but it turned out it was something slightly different. But... Um, I bumped into her on the top deck of the boat. I was going to look for the security cabin. We, we had an allocated security cabin on this massive boat so that we could get changed and just hang out, you know, if we went on the boat. And they changed the security cabin and I was trying to find it. And I was on this big open deck, you know, just all glass. And there's only, I walked in there and I'm almost like as close as I am to you, to the princess, with her back to me, looking out over the, uh, over the harbour and she turned around she'd obviously been crying and a lot and uh she said have you heard about my, my friend um and i said yes yeah we have you know it's awful what's happened you know and you know i know you knew him and i'm really sorry and and she was crying and she said uh do you think they're going to do that to me do you think do you think and i i kind of like say no and look at your team you know we'll, we'll protect you trying to calm her down and as she steps closer anybody else you just give them a hug right i think that's what she wanted to feel that but can you imagine if i'd have done that the paparazzi got a snap of that that would have been awful wouldn't it so all your human instincts wants to comfort somebody but you can't you've got to step back and i had to step back and said look i've got to go now i'm really sorry if you need anything just you know give me a call and just walked out and shut the door mm -hmm. see letters like that with her saying that she was fearful of her brakes getting cut and they were going to kill her next that yeah do you get briefed on that as well or is that just something you hear through the media well at that time uh we were we were aware of it so you do your background when you when you work with somebody you always do your background um checks on them and and you do a pre profile them so you'd profile the person and, and look for anything like that. So you, just so you understand where what where they're coming from and what mindset they're in. Because if you're working with a client who is fearful of their life, they're going to be more happy to work with you on your recommendations. If you, if you go and protect somebody who doesn't see the need for it, they're not going to want it. So it helps you pitch where your level of security will be. But also it helps you understand their mindset, what they're thinking. But also it helps you understand of what things they've encountered and what threats they feel are against them. And then you've got to try and work it all out and do a, a risk assessment on that, you know. Mm -hmm.